Hey guys, Daniel here. I just wanted to shoot a short review of the uh, 10X Growth Conference here, Growth Conference 3 that is, um, in Miami, Florida, just this last weekend. Um, just wanted to give an honest review of all the different aspects that I kind of saw, um, just my two cents about the whole thing. Um, the first thing is probably the venue initially. Um, it was shot in the Marlins Stadium, and uh, to be honest, it wasn't very good. Um, the acoustics in the place, just due to it being a, basically a tin can, um, were pretty bad. When, where we were sitting, it was it was decent, the sound, but other places like in the lower floors, it was like real, like you could barely hear anything. Um, so it's a poor venue, but I mean, like when you get, you know, that many people, like 10, 20, 35,000 in there, it gets a bit challenging to find good venues. Um, the second, probably the biggest thing is the, the speakers. Uh, honestly, I mean, I was a bit disappointed. Maybe my expectations were uh, were different from what they should be, but there really wasn't a lot of value being given. Like, and, and when I would say value, I mean like actual strategies that a person could implement into their business. Um, there was like zero anything about real estate, which due to the people I talked to was a large uh, portion of the, the people attending. But it was pretty much pretty much every speaker besides a couple were, were trying to pitch you on some product. And when they say, you know, they're training, it was really just really superficial uh, information that wasn't really of any value. The only speaker that really gave you any good value was uh, probably Ty Lopez. And that's just because he really didn't give, he didn't care either way whether he made any money from the event and he was just having a good time. And he was actually really valuable, gave some business strategies. Um, you could probably find that video on YouTube somewhere. Um, the production value of the event was actually pretty good. A lot of good effects. Um, volume was kind of pretty loud for the music. But, uh, I mean, Grant Cardone, you know, skydived into the stadium, which was kind of neat. And there was fire. It, it was kind of a bit like a Mad Max movie. Mad Max Fury Road in a little, <laughs> sometimes because of just the music and the fire everywhere. Um, there was entertainment. Uh, if you already haven't seen, there was Snoop Dogg and Lil Jon were there. Um, but, like, due to... And it was kind of cool. Snoop Dogg was pretty cool. But... Little John was pretty, I mean, it was pretty bad just due to the acoustics. The, the music really wasn't very good, um, but it was cool. And nonetheless, just to see them there and that he got them there. Um, over, I mean, and then the last probably aspect is the networking. Um, and if you, for the majority of people, it was pretty poor. Uh, the Everybody on the floor that paid, you know, like five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 for a ticket, they had their own networking event. Uh, networking party thing, but everybody else, the networking was basically just like a, you know, walk down a hallway, and if you see another guy, like go, talk to him. Like that was literally it. Um, there was no ever events for networking or orchestrations. It was pretty much just like, go find somebody and say hi and talk to him, which was pretty easy. Everyone was kind of there, really friendly, ready to talk to you, but still like, you know, it wasn't. There was never really a time and a place to network. It was just kind of like while speakers were speaking or during lunch um and due to the diversity of like all the different kind of people there there wasn't you know it was kind of difficult to find it was just basically luck of the draw to find somebody uh in your specific niche or industry so i mean overall would i go there again to that conference i mean probably not for me um if you wanted to i would go there probably if you need to get motivated um if you needed like if you're at the bottom and need to get motivated and see what's possible at the top Maybe um, if you want to get networking and you got lots of money, you know, and you're willing to pay five thousand dollars for a seat, maybe it's worth it to go there um, for the contacts. But really, other than that, there was just a lot of raw, raw, you know, and like buy my stuff. So there's my two cents. Hope it helped um, and influenced your decision on GrowthCon Four. Thanks, guys. Daniel out.